Hey, everyone. I got to talk to some filmmakers at the Sedona International Film Festival. They were all passionate about all their projects. So here's some insight into just making movies in general and for anyone out there who want, who's thinking about making movies in the future. I'm Chris King. I'm writer, director, producer, and editor of our short film called Proposal. I'm Jennifer Nicole Stang, and I directed The Lake. I'm Emily Stang, and I was the DP for The Lake. Um, I am the uh, writer and star of the movie Misconnections. Suzanne Mitchell, the director, producer. Did no, I am just one of the horses. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the sequester. Um, so these cuts can no. Um, I, I love dialogue. Well, I love good, good dialogue scenes uh, in short films. Crafting those to me is my it, is my ultimate goal because it's so difficult to pull off a couple characters talking to each other without an audience doing this. You know. So it's got to be really dynamic or unusual dialogue between those two, and uh, that's what, definitely what I strive for. For for most of all of my films, they're very dialogue heavy. So um, I just love the short film format, and it's it's certainly the most purest form of film, you know, because you you don't have to be. Three act structure is so much about feature films. You don't have to do any structure in short films. So there's a, a a broad array of what you can do. This guy right here, he's lived a very, very rich, incredible life, and it was a story about how each one of us can make a difference to save this planet and the creatures that inhabit this planet. And his message was so loud and clear, and it was something that he has been doing his entire life that it deserved a feature-length film, because there are so many nuances about his life. He's a writer. He's a poet. He's a photographer who photographed for Life magazine. Um, he's an animal advocate. Wild, wildlife advocate, an advocate for the land and preserving the land. And in his 60s, he started a wild horse sanctuary called the Black Hills Wild Horse Sanctuary, where now 500 wild mustangs run free. So it was a pretty incredible uh, story. And even today, in his 80s, he continues to fight for the land and for the people and the indigenous creatures by trying to stave off a uranium mining company right now that's trying to mine for uranium. And uh, if they were successful, it could pollute the water that the, that the animals drink from and that the people drink from, the aquifer. So at, at 88 years old, he's still going strong and he's still fighting the good fight for all of us. I think like it's, it's something that, I mean, independent film is something that's always been really kind of amazing. And, you know, it's by, by, be, by making this film and be, going to festivals and meeting people and it make it further like kind of affirms to me as to why I wanted to do it, which was like I wanted to, I wanted to give myself opportunities that wasn't that I wasn't getting. Like not that like I don't want to sound bitter, but like you know if you need if 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 you're not getting the work you want, do something about it. Like if you want to like if you want to ex you know expand yourself as an artist, you need to create. And it's funny that you know I know. It's film and it is an art. My movie is a silly little comedy, but it's, you know, it's art. It's like if you want to expand who you are as a professional, you need to push yourself further rather than waiting for somebody else to give you the opportunity to do so. I think what I've learned the most is that uh, just to do what you love to do and uh, especially if you're beginning, not to worry about what everyone's telling you to do. Like, oh, you should do a feature or no, do this first or or, uh, you know, when they tell you to worry about different things, I think you just go with your gut and um, do whatever is natural and organic. Yeah, I think yeah. sometimes in spite of people's best intentions, listening to too much advice can be a real um, yeah. detrimental experience. And even if you really want to learn from other people, it's often better, as I agree, to do what you want. And then you'll feel free, and then you'll actually meet the people you're made to work with faster. Everything will click. Yeah.